Hi and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be sharing the exact method we use to rank our clients' websites on the first page of Google. Let me begin by quickly showing you one of our clients' websites and how it's performing. We're doing local SEO for them and in just the last three months, they have 14,500 clicks and 1.7 million impressions on their website. They're getting a huge amount of traffic on their website, and when we take a look at their map pack, they've generated 176 phone calls in just three months. So today, I will guide you through our exact process, step by step, so that by the end of this video, you'll be able to start ranking your website on the first page of Google and get similar results. Now, if you're new here, hi, I'm Kurt from One Base Media, and I'm here to help you get more leads for your trades business using online marketing. So if you don't wanna miss any videos, join our community and hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified. Okay, let's get started. For this video, as an example, I'll be doing SEO for a roofing company. But all the tips, techniques, and steps I show you can be used for any business, such as plumbers, roofers, or anything else. We'll be using this Google spreadsheet to organize our data and track our SEO. Inside the spreadsheet, I've created different tabs. The first one helps us monitor our website's pages. The second sheet is for competition research. The third tab assists in building our content strategy. The fourth will help us get listed on local directories. The fifth is for keeping track of our optimized content for local SEO. And the last tab is the task list. Now, don't worry if it all sounds confusing right now. By the end of this video, I promise it will be crystal clear on how to use this. You can find the link to this spreadsheet in the description. Now, the first thing we're going to do is pick a website that isn't doing well on Google and isn't showing up on the first page. Now, this isn't a website that we've built. We've just picked this for the purpose of the video. I'm gonna use Metro Roofing in London as an example. Our first step is to do an audit of the website to see where we stand. I'm gonna use Screaming Frog and paste our website link over here. Change the setting to HTML and then export all the pages. Rename it Roofing London and hit enter. Screaming Frog has downloaded all the URLs from our website and we're gonna paste them into our page URL column. Now we'll assign page types. The home page and the flat roof page will be labeled as main navigation pages. And the contact page will be site info. You want to assign a page type to all the pages and then sort them by A to Z. Now we will fill in the content action column. In this column, we'll put in what corrective actions we need to take to rank each page higher on Google. So let's go to our first page, which is the home page, and put in our main keyword we're targeting, which in this instance is Roofing London. We can see we're currently ranking at 65 in Google. Now, when we take a closer look at our page, we can see that we're a little light on content. Let's go back to Google and search for Roofing London. Click on the top page, which is Element Roofing Company, and we can see their homepage has much more content and is better built. So in the content action column, let's put in optimized content because we need to improve the content so that our homepage can compete with our competitors. Let's check the flat roofs page. Again, we see there is not a lot of content. When we search for flat roofing London, we'll click on the top results and again, their page has more content. So we'll go back to our sheet, mark optimized content for the flat roof page and for every other navigation page as well. For the technical action column, we'll mark all the navigation pages as leave as it is because we just need to optimize the content here, except for the index page. This is because the index page is a duplicate of our home page, and we don't want two pages competing for the same spot. Therefore, we will redirect the index page to our home page. So now we know what we need to do with all the current pages on our website. So the second step is to do competition research. Switch to the competitors list, and we'll start filling in all the details. In the client's website column, put in the website we're trying to rank. To find our competitors, we'll simply Google Roofing London and take the top two ranking websites. Now copy and paste the website link in the competitors column. Put in the business name for our website and our competitors. Next, let's find age of the domain. For that, just click the link in the how to find column, put in our competitors website link, and we can see the main authority is 19 and the age of the domain is 13 years old. So for London Roofing Company, we'll put 19 in Domain Authority row and 13 years of age in the Domain row. Domain Authority and Age of Domain play an important role in ranking websites on the first page. Now let's do the same for our example website. We can see our website is five years old, so let's put that on our sheet. Next task is to find out local ranking for main keywords and overall SEMrush traffic. Let's go to SEMrush, put in our competitor's website and hit enter. We can see they're getting over 700 organic search traffic each month. So let's put that in the sheet. Now let's go back to SEMrush and see what keywords they're ranking for. We can see these are all the keywords. So let's export these into a CSV file and then upload the file in a new sheet. 
Now we have all the keywords that London Roofing Company is ranking for. Let's head back to SEMrush. Click on pages so we can see all of their top pages. Now click on export. Make another new spreadsheet and paste the data in this sheet. Now we have the data of all their top pages as well. Copy the links of the top keyword and top pages spreadsheet and paste them back into our sheet. To find out the number of reviews on Google, let's Google the name of our competitor and click on their Google business profile. We can see they have 19 reviews, so we can put that in our sheet. And for images, they have only two images, so we'll put that in our sheet as well. For website speed, we'll go to GT Metrics and put in our competitor's website link and change the location to UK. They're scoring a B in the website speed, so once again, we'll put that in our sheet. For referring domains, go to Ahrefs Backlink Checker and put in the website link. This tells us they have 42 backlinks. That will go in our sheet as well. And finally, to check pages indexed, go to Google, put in site in front of the website address, and we can see that they have 107 pages indexed on Google. That means we need at least 107 pages to compete with a London roofing company. We're gonna repeat the same process and fill in the detail for our other competitor. You can see that all the details have been filled. Now we can compare and carry out analysis on where we're falling behind. Our Google listing has more reviews and images than our competitors, but we still need more to rank on the map pack. So let's Google roofing London and we'll see in the map pack that the top listing has 70 reviews. We on the other hand have only 22 reviews. We need to make sure we get at least 50 more reviews so we can start showing up on the map pack. Our domain authority is two and our competitors have a higher domain authority than us, indicating they have more content on their website and more backlinks. To improve our domain authority, we need to upload more content to our website. We're lagging behind in our website speed as well. We've got a D. We also have a feeble amount of backlinks only three, whereas our competitors have 42 and 55 backlinks. Our website has only eight pages indexed, while our competitors have 107 and 20. So we really need to improve on all of these metrics. So let's go back to our task sheet and put in, get an extra 50 plus Google reviews. This might sound like a lot, but we need it to be competitive. Okay, now we can go to our competitors keyword sheet and see what keywords they are targeting. We also want to start ranking for these keywords. We can see how many searches each of these keywords are getting every month. So with all this data, we can start building our own content strategy. Go to their top pages sheet. These are the pages that are pulling all the traffic. We can take ideas from this data and use it to build our own pages to generate traffic. Let's take a look at the other competitors keyword sheet. We can see Rufa South East London is getting 50 searches a month, making this a good keyword to target for a local landing page. Chimney flash and repair could also be a good blog post to get more traffic to our website. You get the idea. We wanna go through each of these keywords and pages to see where we can improve. Now, the next step is to build our content strategy. To build our content strategy, let's go to our top competitors' websites. We can see in the navigation bar, they've got all these different service pages. Let's go through to Chimney Repair, and we can see they're targeting the whole county of London. We want to start building pages based on these competing pages. So let's start with drone survey repairs and mark it as main navigation page. Let's do the same with other pages. We'll put in chimney repairs, roofing repairs, gutter repairs, and roof insulation. We can also build pages for different roof types. So let's put in slate roofs as well. Mark them all as main navigation pages. For main navigation pages, we want to target the whole county, which in this case is London. Now let's build local landing pages. Let's go to Sebrush again and type in Roof for London. And when we click see all keywords, we can see Roof for North London has 70 searches a month, making it a good keyword to target. We'll put that into our sheet along with Roof for South London and Roof for West London as well. We'll also check our competitors keyword list and we can see Roofers in Wembley has 140 searches, another good keyword to target. So let's put that into our sheet and mark all of these as local landing pages. We want to go to ChatGPT and put in the prompt, give me all the boroughs in London. You'll see it will generate a list of all the boroughs. So let's take Bexley and put Rufus Bexley in SEMrush. We can see it gets 10 searches a month. Not a lot of search volume, but we still want to build a page for this keyword. Next, let's take Rufus Bromley and check the search volume. We can see this one has 170 searches, so another good page to build. Repeat the same process using SEMrush chat GPT and the keywords from our competitors to build more local landing pages. Next, we want to build blog posts. I recommend building at least 20 to 30 blog posts for your website. To get blog post ideas, go to SEMrush and type tiled roof. SEMrush gives us questions that people are asking about a tiled roof. How to replace a roof tile has 170 monthly searches. So let's open this on Google. We can see that this website, Roofing Megastore, has published an in-depth blog post on how to replace roof tiles because such blogs get a huge amount of inbound traffic, which will turn into leads. Another way to get blog ideas is to use Google. When we Google flat roofs, 
Google gives us questions that people frequently ask. We can take these questions and start building blogs for our own website. So let's go back to our sheet and put in how to replace roof tiles and which is the best flat roofing. Using SEMrush, we can see people are searching for how to insulate a flat roof 210 times a month. This will also be a good topic to build a blog post about. Mark all of these as blog posts. We want to fill in this entire sheet with lots of navigation pages, numerous local landing pages and plenty of blog posts. That way we'll have a well-built substantial website. The next step is to get listed in all the local citations or directories. We've already provided a list of directories for you to submit to, so go ahead and submit your information to them. For a local citation audit, visit SEMrush and input your website link. You can see our online presence is bad. Listings to fix are 22, and down here we are not present in all of these directories. Now for a fee, we can get SEMrush to submit to all of these directories for us. If you want to submit to all of these directories manually, you can use this sheet as a checklist and fill in all the details in the columns as you make your way through each directory. We also need to get listed on niche specific directories. Simply go to Google and type in roofing directory and Google will show you directories related to roofing. We can submit to these directories over here and get listed on them as well. Use this sheet and get listed on all the local directories mentioned here and get listed on at least 10 niche specific websites as well. This will help you outperform your competitors by a mile. Our next step is to optimize our content using Surfer SEO. Now we want to optimize all of our main navigation pages. We'll copy all of them and put it in this sheet. Let's take our homepage. The keyword we want to rank for is Roofing London. And by using SEMrush, we can see that it has 1,300 monthly searches. Now let's go to Surf SEO and put our main keyword, Roof at London. It will provide suggestions for similar keywords to Roof at London. Select all the variations suggested. We'll use one credit for this and copy and paste the content from our website into Surf SEO. Once we put in our content, we can see that we have a score of 36. Now check the scores of other websites on the first page. We need to ensure that our score is the highest to rank on the first page. Surf SEO also tells us how many words, headings, paragraphs, and images we need to start ranking on the first page. It also gives us suggestions for headings like Roofer London. So let's change this heading to Roofer London and we can see our score goes up to 37. So basically we want to optimize our content using the suggestions Surfer SEO gives us. Now you can see after I've optimized the content, our score has shot up to 68. That's a much better score. Now this page will rank better on Google. We want to do the same for all the other pages. That is, put them into Surf SEO and start optimizing the content. Next, we want to change the URL of these pages. We want the keyword London in all of the URLs. This is because these are our main navigation pages and we're targeting the whole county with them, which is London. Also, we want all our titles and descriptions to be perfect. Let's go to our Pitch Roof page and we can see the title. So we want Pitch Roof London in front and Metro Roofing at the end in the title. For the description, we can see they are just spamming keywords, but we want the description to specifically mention pitch roof. So we want to rewrite the title and description for all our pages. Both the title and description should have the service that we provide and our location in them. So you'd have Roofing London or Drone Roof Survey London. And the next step is to build backlinks for our website. Go to Google and search Roofing right for us. Websites like Roof Pros, another roofing site, are looking for guest posts. Here we'd reach out to them to inquire if there's a cost or if we can do a guest post for free. If we write a good piece of content for their website, they'll link back to us. We can write a guest post on tiled roofs or slate roofs and publish it on their site and that blog will link back to our tiled roof or slate roof page. Next, we'll do a site audit. Go to SEMrush in the site audit section, put in our domain and it will tell us technical errors and warnings on the website. When we click on errors, it will show us all the issues we have. And similarly, when we go on the warnings, it lists us all the problems as well. Now, some of these issues are technical for which you will need to get a developer to resolve them. What we recommend is to first upload all the content and then do an audit and start resolving the issues. Next, we want to build our site structure. So our homepage, which is targeting Roof for London, will have all our main navigation pages in the navigation bar on the website. These are all the services we offer. So they should show up on the website like this. We also recommend having an About Us page, a Gallery page, and a Contact page as well. Now for local landing pages, we can have an Area We Cover page on the navigation bar on the homepage, or we can have them in the footer. But make sure to internally link all the local landing pages to the website. Now for the blogs. Again, you can have it in the footer or in the navigation bar. But for a service websites like Roofing, I would recommend putting blogs in the footer. So that's the site structure you want to have for your website. Next, we'll move on to ranking on Google My Business. Google My Business is really important for local SEO. To access your Google My Business profile, type in your company name in Google with the Gmail account you use to create your Google Business profile. From here, you can edit your profile, 
read your reviews or messages, add photos and so on. Let's start with reviews. We can copy this link and send it to your clients via email or a text message and ask them for reviews. Another great way is to go to a QR code generated website, paste in our review link and it will generate a QR code for us. Now we can print this on the back of our business card and give it to clients so they can just scan it to give us reviews. In our business information section, our business name has to be the same across all the directory citations like Yelp.com. Also make sure that our business category is filled out properly. Now to find out our business category, download an extension called GMB Everywhere. So let's say you're a plumber in London. Open the extension and type in Plumber London, then go to the top listing. We can see all the categories these top listings are using. You can use the categories for your own listing. Now you can put in your main category and then the additional category using GMB Everywhere. Make sure your contact number and website information is correct. Put in all your social media accounts. Again, your address should be the same across all the directories and your opening hours should be accurate. Also fill in the more section. A lot of businesses will miss this out, but we want to go the extra mile and fill all of it in. In the edit service section, input all the keywords we want to rank for, along with listing all the services we offer. In the product section, you can include your services because as a service business, the services you provide are your products. For instance, with our client, Create Room Essex, in the product section, their services are listed. Clicking through explains more about their service and leads to their services page. We also recommend posting at least once a week on Google My Business. It really helps in ranking a listing. If you don't want to do it manually, you can use a tool called Sendable to schedule your posts. Next step is to create your local schema for your website. Local schema is a code that gives Google information about our business. So go to ChatGPT and put in the prompt, write me a local schema for our roofing company based in London. And it will generate a code for us that we can copy and paste on our website. We just need to put our business details in. We can go one step further and add details about our business in the prompt itself. So when ChatGPT generates the code, it will have all our information in it and then we can just simply copy and paste it on our website. Next step is to get a sitemap on our website. A sitemap is a structured list of all the pages on our website. It is a guide for Google and it helps it navigate through the site more efficiently. So go to a sitemap generator website, put in our link and then you can download the sitemap and upload it to your website. Do this step after you've built all of your pages. Now the final step is to go to our task list and tick off all the tasks that we've completed. The very last thing we need to tackle is the visual change on our website. We want our contact number on top of the page, usually in the navigation bar. Once we've done it, we can tick it off. For the sticky navigation, the navigation bar needs to stick to the page when we scroll down. So we already have that, so let's tick that off. For a clear call to action, we need a big call to action button, like get a free quote. We need to have it either in the navigation bar or as a pop-up. We also need reviews on the home page because it adds credibility. We also need to have a gallery page and also images of our work on the service page. For example, if you have a service page for flat roofing, we need images of flat roofs on that page. And there you have it. This is the entire strategy that we use to rank our clients page higher and get more leads. Thank you for watching until the end. I hope you got a lot out of the video. So our goal here is to help you generate the best quality leads so you can fill out your diary with more customers and grow your business. And that's it from me. And by the way, if lead generation is a problem for you right now, then there's a link in the description that will help you solve that problem in under three minutes. I want to say a big thank you again for watching this video. If you want to see more content like this, please like and subscribe and leave a comment in the comment section. We read and respond to all the comments we get. Have a great day. I'll see you on the next one.